There are many movies out at the moment that are claiming to be comedies. This beats all of them. And on the one hand, it's a political tale. On the other hand, it is a magic, realist fable. It is baggy and overlong. You can either just see it as a really good popcorn adventure or as something much deeper. That's what a proper cult movie looks like. My problem with it is I wanted it to be darker. The script is laughable, but not in a good way. This has proved so divisive. I was reminded of the friendship between Elliot and E.T. Every time anyone says mockumentary, immediately think, is it as good as Spinal Tap? The answer is no. Very smartly reinvented a franchise, and who thought that was possible? It does the thing that cinema is meant to do at its very best, to completely immerse you, to transport you, to take you to another world. Words of Wisdom, the film review, available now on BBC iPlayer. A senior member of Theresa May's cabinet calls for changes to her Brexit plans. The comments pile more pressure on a prime minister struggling to maintain cabinet unity. The UK cannot be trapped in a permanent customs arrangement and I think that um, it's really important that we get some sort of clarity and some improvement on that particular aspect of it. To think that just because some cabinet ministers make demands of the prime minister that the details are going to change is, I think, um, fantasy. Mrs May has been canvassing support from party members, try trying to head off a possible vote of no confidence. Also tonight, President Trump sees for himself the devastation caused by California's deadliest wildfires in history. More than a quarter of a million protest across France over high fuel prices and the rising cost of living. He introduced the BBC's first ever TV news bulletin. Richard Baker has died at the age of 93. Good evening. A senior member of Theresa May's cabinet has called for changes to her Brexit plans. Andrea Leadsom, who's the leader of the Commons, said there was potential to improve a draft deal before the Prime Minister presents it to European leaders next week. Mrs Leadsom is among five Brexit-supporting cabinet ministers said to be demanding significant changes. However, alterations to the draft have been described as a fantasy by another government minister. Mrs May has been speaking to local Conservative Party members as she seeks to head off a possible vote of no confidence. This report from our political correspondent Ian Watson contains some flash photography. Uh, don't forget much more on the BBC Sport website including details of how Novak Djokovic and Alexander Zverev reach the final of the ATP Tour Finals in London tomorrow. That's all the sport, Clive. Ollie, many thanks for that. And that's it from me and the rest of the team. Have a very good night. Stories, set to shape the news agenda. Headlines, freshly written. Original perspectives on the day's unfolding narratives. See the bigger picture as it emerges. The Papers, tonight at 10.30 and 11.30 on the BBC News Channel. Follow the story, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. You can follow every moment in depth with BBC News. Get the full story at bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Get the headlines as they happen with the breaking news alert. And keep up with events by watching the BBC News channel in the app. Follow the story wherever you are with BBC News.
Hello, you're watching BBC News with me, Rachel Schofield. Let's return now to our main story. The leader of the Commons has said there is the potential to improve the Brexit deal before Theresa May presents it to the EU at a special summit later this month. 